Welcome to British Biomedicine Institute. Today we will explore the interaction of X-rays and gamma rays with matter and their effects on our radiated materials and radio diagnosis. Interaction of matter with ionizing radiation, that is, high energy electromagnetic radiation, X or gamma rays, or alpha, or beta particles, can promote chemical change, which commonly involves free radicals. Photons, X-ray and gamma, end their lives by transferring their energy to electrons contained in matter. Radioactive decay of atoms, creates three radioactive particles, alpha, beta, and gamma. There are three different applications for radical formation. Irradiation, photolysis and radiolysis. Thermolysis, thermal homolysis. Redox processes, oxidation reduction reactions. The electron paramagnetic resonance, EPR, method is used for the investigation of the radiation damage centers, which occur in the structure of the material. The breakage in the structure of the material allows the material to become paramagnetic. The paramagnetic centers are determined by EPR spectroscopy. Interaction of photons with matter occur by four mechanisms colon. 1. Coherent scattering. 2. Photoelectric effect. 3. Compton scattering. 4. Paraproduction. Photoelectric interactions usually occur with electrons that are firmly bound to the atom, that is, those with a relatively high binding energy. Radiation damage centers are seen as free radicals in the form of breaking bonds in the structure and as anion or cation radicals in the form of electron exchange. Charged particles are a directly ionizing radiation group. These particles include energetic electrons, negatrons, positrons, protons, alpha particles, charged mesons, muons, and heavy ions, ionizing atoms. Low energy photons, give all their energy to an electron, which causes the electrons to break apart from atoms or molecules. This type of interaction is called photoelectric interaction. In addition to chemical reaction and thermolysis methods, a material is subjected to a series of changes by irradiation. Photolysis or radiolysis processes are used as irradiation methods. Interactions of such high energy, non-charged particle radiation or indirectly, ionizing radiation with matter are effective in breaking chemical bonds or ionizing the structure. Electromagnetic waves can also ionize, hence the reason electromagnetic radiation is often placed as part of ionizing radiation. When the electron reverts to its normal energy level, it emits energy in the form of radiation, usually in the forms of ultraviolet rays or radio waves. The main effect radiation has on matter is its ability to ionize atoms to become ions a phenomenon known as ionization, which is very similar to the photoelectric effect. Thank you for showing interest in British Biomedicine Institute Skilled Nano Degree Program. Hope you have gained a lot of information through this presentation. Good luck.